Hey guys, Lissy here. Today I want to share this word with you and the title of it is you're going to find the beauty in it. So um, some of you have been trying to get God's perspective on things and it's been a little bit of a struggle to try to get God's perspective on what you've been going through. Um, it's been a little bit hard to even view yourself um, and see the beauty that you carry. And I feel like this is a time where God is calling us to raise our perspective higher, to not get bogged down in past seasons like we would with how things are not turning out the way we thought or how like we thought it'd be different. Or, And I feel like in past seasons, many of us would get stuck in these mindsets and they would actually like kind of like a brick being tied to us. If you picture um, us as birds, right? And then there's like a string and underneath us and a brick and the enemy would like bring these situations like a brick that we would be flying with the, you know, in the spirit, flying with the Lord, just like being free, right? And being like flying represents freedom. And so then the enemy would bring these bricks, these situations, these mindsets, maybe you know, um, something someone said to you that really hurt you. Um, maybe um, something that happened which gave you a thought that then became a belief system. And God wants to get us out of wrong belief systems and then also to help us to see situations the way that he sees them, get his perspective so we can fly above and not underneath all these situations and circumstances that have lied to us and told us different things. And so if you picture these bricks on these birds, right? If you put a string and a brick under a bird, it's gonna fall, right? It's not gonna be able to fly and um, and have that freedom. And that's what I feel like God has said has happened to many of you in past seasons where something would happen and it would become like this brick that was attached to you and it would pull you down and it'd be this heaviness and you maybe weren't even aware of it until you got delivered. Maybe you weren't aware of it until you became aware that these situations had been cycles that you had been in and that the enemy had been getting you to go around and around in the cycle. And so there's a lot of different parts to this, but I hope it's making sense. But basically, I really feel like this is a season where that is no more. And I declare in Jesus' name that that is no more for you. I declare that you're going to rise up above your situations and God is going to give you his perspective. I feel his presence because he's going to do it. For many of you, God is going to, if this is a desire of your heart, if you want freedom, if you want to get above your circumstances, if you don't want things to bog you down anymore where you have cycles and seasons where you are caught up in the lies of the enemy and well this didn't work how I thought it would and this person said this so it must be true and you know it's like when you're a child if you have had a good childhood if you were blessed with that then you know that you know you were sheltered and protected from a lot of what was going on in the world and you were unaware to it you had that innocence and it was like this bubble that was around you and the lord wants to restore that for many of you as well he wants to restore that bubble that childlikeness where before you you knew what being fat was before you knew what someone calling you ugly felt like before you experienced hatred and uh, racism and all these things that like you didn't even know existed God wants to restore that innocence of your heart where if people obviously it's important to know those issues and be aware of them and but I'm, what I'm trying to say is if you've been a victim of those things God wants to restore that that shield over you that protection over you where your heart feels as though you've never had that um attack on your identity, that attack on uh, who you are, your heart, um, how you look, different things. Because honestly, those things can plague people for years and years and years, and many of you have experienced that. So I feel like this is the year where, and the season where God is going to snip the strings and those bricks are going to fall and you're going to have a second wind to be able to come up higher where the Lord is to his perspective and be freed from those bricks. Those bricks, like some, I see like numbers of years on those bricks, like six years, three years, 20 years. Like I see these bricks that people have been carrying. It makes me teary because I know people who have also gone through this and have gotten freedom. And I know people who have chosen to stay in it. And be someone who doesn't choose to stay in it. Don't be defined by your past. It's for freedom that Christ came to set us free. He doesn't want you to be bound by any words of the enemy, any lies. The enemy is a liar. Everything he says, you know the opposite is truth because God is truth. And the enemy is a liar. And so the Bible says that he's the father of lies. 
So that means that anything the enemy says, you know that the opposite is true. So if he's telling you, oh, you're never going to get out of that situation, you should end your life now, all these things, you know that that's a lie. You know that he's terrified of something that's coming up for you. And many of you are about to receive massive breakthroughs you've been literally waiting for. You're right at the edge. I don't know if you've seen that picture of that guy and he's underground and there's like a picture of him chipping away at the rock and you can see the big gem right like right on the other side of the wall and then underneath is the picture of him walking the other way and he gave up god doesn't want you to give up because many of you are right there that's you you were on the cusp of your breakthrough you were right there where you're about to experience um radical like breakthrough where like your seasons will not look like they were before where the times and season you've been through before will no longer be that you're gonna have like where it was always like oh another delay oh another this oh another that it's like god literally wants to put you in this stream this jet stream where you're able to just go forward and accomplish the work of the lord accomplish the call in your life because god wants us to accomplish that we are here for that purpose god gave each of us a special divine purpose to be here in this world and to share that part of him and to be able to um, to show that to the world. So I'm really excited for, you know, pray obviously if this word is for you, but I'm excited for the people this word is for. And if you want this word, like ask the Lord and receive it too. Um, but I want that. I want to be um, in the jet stream of just breakthroughs. And I want to I want to run and not faint. All of these attacks from the enemy cause us to faint. They cause us to sit. They cause us to go, oh, did God really say, you know, am I really called to this? Is this really something that, you know, I'm supposed to be doing? Maybe I heard wrong. And we waste time because time is so short. Time is so short. And God has put us here for a reason and a purpose. Otherwise, he would just take us straight to heaven. God has purpose for you here. If you're still alive and breathing, your heart's still beating, God has purpose for you. There's someone watching this and you actually have been contemplating not wanting to go on anymore. God has purpose for your life. I don't know your name, but God has purpose for your life and he has called you, chosen you, and you've had a lot of setbacks, but he's not done with you. So continue on and then get on your knees and just ask the Lord to give you that strength. When we go low, he brings us high. When we get on our knees, he he gives us that grace and that strength and he raises us up and helps us to keep going and I promise you from someone who's been through so many hard seasons I promise you that God will come through for you he's not a man that he should lie I say that in like all my videos he will be found faithful it's this phrase that God gave me when I was in the pit of it and I was just done and God just said to me he will be found faithful that was like this phrase that he will be found faithful and God radiates faithfulness. He can't be anything other than faithful. So hold fast to that. If you hold fast to any part of God's nature and you're going through something hard, I encourage you to remember his kindness, his goodness, and his faithfulness, and his mercy and his grace. And there's just every part of God is amazing. But I want to encourage you guys to definitely keep going and and um, and you're going to see the beauty in it. You're going to see the beauty of your season. You're going to see the beauty of that pain you went through. You're going to see the beauty of that heartbreak. You're going to see, you're going to see the beauty of um, the losses you experienced, the financial problems. You're actually going to see the beauty of it. God is going to show you the beauty of why you went through those things and what the purpose was. And you're actually going to look back on it and, and you're not going to feel pain. And you're actually going to look back on it and you're going to actually be thankful. And it sounds bizarre, but that's what God's going to do. He's going to heal you and restore you to such a standard that you actually will look back and go, whoa, God, thank you for that. Thank you for that hard season I went through. Thank you for that loneliness I felt. Thank you for that depression I went through. Thank you for that actually because I see the gold on the other side and wisdom and revelation and anointing and all the things that came to me because of that and the strength that came to me. Those times that where we feel like we can't go on anymore, if we just keep walking, it's like a timeline and eventually our breakthrough is on that timeline. We just have to keep walking to get to it. So I want to encourage you guys, don't give up. And you will see the beauty in it. You'll see the beauty in everything because that's what God does. He's made everything beautiful in his time. Scripture says that. And Romans 8, 28, he works all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. It's beautiful. It's, it's absolutely beautiful that that is our God and 
What a privilege and honor it is to live lives holy for him. What a privilege and an honor it is to get to love him back in the way we live our lives, the way we love others, being his hands and feet, and sharing him with the world. I love you guys. I pray that if this is for you, God would encourage you. He would even start breaking off strings now, snipping the strings now, and setting you free from those words and those bondages and those lies that the enemy tried to play it to stop you. You will conquer. I declare you will conquer and you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Love you guys.